Hello everybody, this is part 4 of my Killer Frequency playthrough. Oh, this stuff is it. Now, push the bookshelf over. Oh, this was the end oh of the last God. episode, wasn't Both it? Went through the floor. Spotter! You need to climb down now. We gotta go. He's coming down. And yes! Heather! Quick, everyone to the van. Driver! I can't remember if I have to make response to this. Carrie! What was that? Oh my god. Carrie? <sighs> oh, that's right. He didn't kill it, did he? just walked he just off. stared at me. Carrie? Carrie? Why? You're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? <sighs> I can make it home. Thank you Ooh. for helping. If you hadn't, I. It was your plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. It was all of you. It was really all you, Carrie. Still, I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm. Somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Folks, that was a... Uh, that was a lot. Our thoughts go out to the parents whose kids won't make it home tonight. For any kids listening in, please stay inside and stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. Final breath. <laughs> hey, we had a call come in. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Forrest Nash here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16, The Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest, I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say... That you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. It's cool what you're doing, man. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink, trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky. And I now consider you a friend, my man. Uh, We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. Thanks. 
Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. Yeah, back then, things were pretty rough. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went down. I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk. It's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems. and Sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. I learned how to have fun again, cutting loose and making shapes. Now, whenever I get down, I get down. <laughs> I'm finally free from it all, man. It's important just to talk to somebody. That's the first step. Ain't that right, Max? Aw, oh, hello, Max. Oh, welcome to the show, Max. Max is my emotional support dog. He's a rescue dog, but I always say he's the one that rescued me. He's the best dog a guy could ask for. Of course, the first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now, a real pro. Max can skate. Yeah, man. <laughs> At first they said it couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxie loves the rink, man. Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. <laughs> Sounds like you two make a great pair. Uh, Maxi appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating has got me itching for a boogie. Before I switch my radio off for the night, could I request a song for us? Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxi's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a level. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. Oh, you got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna love this next track. I really needed that call, you know, after everything. Yeah, I get that. He talked a bit much for my taste, but it is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, th that's what I meant. <sighs> you were thinking about Max on skates, weren't you? Well, uh, would you look at that? Another caller on the line. What are the odds? Better take it. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. Mm. This is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, Collar? I'm doing okay. I made it home safe. Gary! Hey, I, I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. You know, even though not everybody made it, and uh, I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why am I? Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? After what he did? Why let me go? Maybe he didn't kill you because he saw you as a victim. Maybe. But why would that stop him from killing me too? After everything he did to- These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to us. <coughs> we just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Forrest? Okay, now everybody wants to song. request a song? Of course, Carrie. What song? Any song by Blast Processor. And thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. Oh dear, they all want a fucking song. They all want a piece of me. 
<laughs> you know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Well, it's something to consider. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty, we could run another segment or... Scratch that, Forrest. We have a caller. You're through to 189.16, The Scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was awful, those poor kids. Still, I'm, I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. You said you were going to play it, but you didn't. Your name was Dawn, right? What, Peggy? Yes. Oh. My name is Dawn, and I wanted to ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Long Ride Home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? But we don't have that song. As you just said, Peggy threw it out the window. But, Forrest, you do have it. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It won't take you a second to grab it. Nope. I'm sorry, Don. I'm just not going out there. Oh, but I think you will. Forrest? Peggy, I'm... I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. I think I know who's gonna be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. <sighs> well, folks, <laughs> here's some music for you while I think things over. Time to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, I mean, is she serious about- I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? If she's telling the truth... Mmm. All right, then. Uh, when we were walking past the door... Oh, okay. All oh, right. All right, I'll do it. You're a good man, Forrest. I'll slide you the key to the fire door. Wait, wait. Our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, it... Uh, you know, I never thought about it, but yeah. We should talk to Reggie about that later. Anyway, I'll hold the fort down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. 189.16. The Screw. With me, Peggy. Mm. Okay, where was the fire door? We won't be the one going up, will it? What do you call it? That little 
of this thing. I'm going to get knocked out, you know. That's going to close on me. You know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling <coughs> out here in the open. Hello. What's that? Ah. Right, I'm going to put this down by the door. That could be important later on, you never know. I don't get back here. Of course, here. it locks behind me. And of course the key doesn't work on this side. Fantastic. All right, <clears throat> which window would she have thrown it out of? Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. A, a door, elevator, or something. Here it is. Long ride home. Oh, it may. Looks like I'm gonna have to hunt around for some new fuses. Nah, that's not right. Do the fuses add up properly? I know the fuses are going to go, I don't know why they're going to go where they're going to go, but... Oh, pardon me! Looks like I'm going to have to hunt around for some new fuses. Oh, pardon me. Fifty-four paperball baskets made from the desk.
Well, that's 30, then there's a 5. And that's working too. Only the best for KFAM. Ah, uh, that's... See if I can fix this. Looks like a power issue. That's it, so the fuse, the fuse box. The fuse box will allow me to open that. Okay, okay. okay. Now that's got 70 there, so I wonder if that's what we've got to get up to. Yeah, another another red one. And that'll be 60, 70 yet. Right, so there's a red fusey thing somewhere. Is that it? Yes, there we go. Bingo! Little trophy and gain access to the station after being knocked out. Really? I could probably survive that fall. I shut the door because otherwise I'm just going to wa brilliant way for the fucking killer just to walk in you can't leave that like that surely take that right, apparently you do looks like the janitor's closet what did Peggy say his name was Clive what the ah uh. What the hell? Peggy is not going to believe this. Gallows Creek High School, Class of 69, Keith Walker, Science Club, Marie Campbell, Stanley King, Kim Walker, Rick Allen, Ant Williams, Billy Price, Chuck Berry. Local Doctor, K Walker, recommends all locals get their flu shot at ASAP. Flu season for us, 84 is no discipline of the year, make sure you Former Gallows High Football Captain Chuck Brady's off to career ended in three as victim of the festival disaster late last year. Twelve him in his road to recovery, we're buying some lottery tickets, hopefully he gets lucky and can get back on his feet. Pun not intended. Festival of Disaster, Big Wheel, Breaks Free, 15 injured, who is to blame? Gallows Creek, Harvest Festival, closed early this year after Treasury stuck only hours after opening. The Big Wheel broke free from its support and rolled through town. Justice for festival victims, a two year old investigation of festival accidents have been concluded. Investigators blame two engineers that were contracted from the local power station. Lead engineer Ant Williams and junior engineer Sean Everett were distracted 
talking about holidays as well as sending in the big wheel which had various construction mistakes in order to do community service. Crime syndicate impounded. Criminal operation shut down. 24 arrested inside informant walk straight. Police have finally put end to the long running car thief and crime syndicate. The rest were made after a member gave up information on their co conspirators to the investigators. The informants who have to remain anonymous will here have to be referred to as RA as walk free with no charges. Now, any of these are RA. Rebecca Allen, yeah. Trailer for sale cheap. Sale price ten thousand dollars. Tyler Wallace. I'm sick of being a local celebrity. People are so mean to me. I only stole a few cars. The janitors, the uh, maybe the murderer, then Hmm, I wonder how the show's going. God, please let this be the last locked door. Ah, I'm going to put this down. There's a key. There's a key on the desk which you wouldn't let me pick up. Maybe because I've, you've got to trigger that to pick the key up. Beautiful key. I should be able to get back to the studio now.
Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for... Jesus, Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I thought something had happened. Something did happen. Clive the janitor might be Clive the murderer. What? I'll start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door locked behind. Why did you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell, and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement made by our creepy janitor, who you think is the creepy whistling man. Yep. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, and Aunt Williams. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's, Clive's, next target? That's right. And we've got to find them. You said there are four locations listed there, too? The hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're going to have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. I am going to roll that out. Oh, I've got the watch here. I've brought the board up with me. Uh -huh. So, Chuck Brody. Well, Chuck Brody's more like the speed of the hospital. Uh. And Williams is car club. Ah. We got at the I mean, Adam Williams is at the power plant. Chuck Brody. Kim Walker's... No, Kim Walker at the, the hospital. Aunt Williams is at the power station. So there's Chuck Brody or Rebecca Allen are going to be at the trailer park or the gas station. First of all, to tell it all book, Dory the car thief, but it's out of Gallows Creek for the local big city. She stole our cars, then she stole our time and money, said the huge you remember. Christine's gas and repair. Been by man and woman actually 14 years ago. I bet that's what's his name, Chuck Brody. So Chuck Brody is at the gas station. Chuck Chuck Brody gas station. Kim Walker Hospital. And Williams Power Station and Rebecca Allen Trailer Park. How's it going? I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Well, he's number one, Chuck Ryder. 
Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? I can't remember. Gas station, I think. The gas station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. Listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the Whistling Man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The Whistling Man? Who the hell are you? Who is this? This is Forrest Nash. Listen, the Whistling Man's back. We found a list with your name on it and... Oh, God. It, it's today. The year I finally let myself forget. I... Forget? For, forget what? Forget? No, no, man! I gotta get out of here! I... I think he ran off. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck... Ah! Jeez! It sounds like something blew up! He's using bombs now? I... I... Is Chuck... I don't know. Hang on. We're getting a call. Hello? Chuck? Chuck! Forrest! Chuck oh, Brody, sir. gas station's gone up. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. I got everyone to follow me out. The town's only ambulance was blown to hell, though. Yeah. Damn it, that fireball threw me. I've got to get to the hospital. I'm not feeling great. Forrest, man. I can't thank you enough, but, yeah, I gotta go. Wait, I, damn it, we lost him. What was that about today? Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. Get us into some music while I deal with this. Here's some music while we regroup here on KFAM 189.16, The Stream. There's got to be more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, we need to go back down. By we, you mean me, right? Yep. Like I said, I need to handle all these calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Me too. Yeah. In there. What am I looking for? If it's on the base, I'm sure this gives me as an objective. Objective, rather. I can't get the words out today. I'm getting more than mocking words for them. Hmm. The key? Is this always here? I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. Okay. Ah. 
try that too. Very tight red door. Hey, Forrest! Peggy, give me some warning before yelling down the intercom. Sorry. Bust the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Oh, yeah. George Barrow, 1968. That's when this all began for me. Follow the maps, find the tapes. I'll be waiting. Wait, George Barrow? We all heard that he drowned after a night out drinking. Actually, Clive? Has Clive really been the whistling man for that long? He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. Hmm. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. I don't think that's that. There's a trolley somewhere there. Trolley or a chair or something.
Well, there's a big roll of stomach there. is not going to believe this. Ah. Ooh, a new vinyl for my collection. Get into this. It looks like there's a roll or something, so I need to find somewhere with a roll of lino or carpet or something. Ah, the roll up there. Does that mean it's round there? Ah! Wait, this is it. Ah. Small lacerations to That's arms, it. legs, and face, typically obtained by running through foliage. Severe blistering to the feet, as though the deceased had been running without stopping. That's that one. And then I come to the other side that. Right, let's get back to Peggy if I can.
What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape. It talks more about how George died. What did it say? It sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. I, um... I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but... for playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the whistling man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but... Maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know, but Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. And the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save them. Ugh, why didn't he just come out with all of this? Uh, he said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you'd killed all those people. Do you think you found everything, Forrest? I think there's gotta be more down here. I need to find all the tapes. You think so? How much did Clive hide down there? Well, if there are more tapes, then there must be more maps to follow, right? That seems to be the case. All right, then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Fifty-four minutes. I've got six minutes. So next time I'll see the... Um The save icon, come on, I'm going to end it. No, nothing in there, right. No, is it all in this area? Right, so it's telling me to do more before I leave. So presumably that means I've been here then. I found that one, didn't I? Right. Oh, interesting, that might happen. Oh. Shipping from Starlink Security. 
of the hospital gas from the day, Rick Rollery. Hmm, something to do with that, I think. Fact check this codes. Ah. I'll oh, send so the old security system is six digit code system. Maintenance call code, alarm test. Alarm test deactivation code. And then she code. Oh, I'm gonna have to finish this. Okay. Go on, save it, you little shit. I mean, you can, oh, you can save it when you want to manually come on. Right then. There we go. Right then, I'm going to call that a night. Um, got a bit further. Yeah, but I'm really enjoying this. I, I didn't want to finish it, but... But I'd stop it now, it's going to start rewriting the end of it, rather than the start of it. Right, take care everybody, and I'll see you on the next part. Try to beat you.